In this video, we're going to look at the fixed point theorem. The uh, fixed point theorem, because this is going to help us get a handle on the convergence um, criteria and convergence of the fixed point theorem. So, basically, um, as you saw in the previous example, uh, the first video on fixed point, not the algorithm, but the first video, you saw that we looked at three examples. Those three examples, two were converging, and one was not at all, was diverging, in fact. And the question I raised in that was, how do we select, how do we know, can we predetermine if, um, uh, if a particular iteration is going to converge to a root or not? So this theorem is going to help us to get an answer to that question. So um, remember, the problem ahead of us is this. Um, the problem we're trying to solve is x equals gx. So that's just to remind you of the fixed point problem, in fact. So um, if we, we assume here that, uh, for the purpose of this theorem, that G is a, uh, is, uh, belongs to CAB, which means it's continuous um, on the interval AB. And it's such that uh, GX itself, of course, belongs to this interval, because remember, GX and X are going to be equal uh, for the fixed point case, for all X uh, in AB. Now the question is, in addition, if we assume that g dash, the derivative, okay, on a b, okay, also uh, is uh, exists on uh, a b, on this a b, of course, all right, uh, and let's say that there is a constant k, which is some constant, positive constant that's less than one, uh, then g dash x and that and of course um, then then we can say that the the size of g dash the derivative if it's less than or equal to k okay for all x belonging to a b then uh, we know that the sequence for any number p0 that uh, is in a b Okay, that's an initial guess. Um, the sequence Pn equals G Pn minus 1 will converge. So that's what the theorem is saying. So what it's saying is, let's just forget about all the formalities. This is the key argument here, this one here. It's saying if the derivative of G is less than or equal to 1 on this interval here, uh, on some interval, of course you have to restrict yourself, then we can then we can guarantee that the fixed point uh, theorem guarantees, sorry, that there is a unique fixed point, in fact, uh, P inside AB, and therefore this Pn uh, equals Gn P minus 1, this one here, will converge, in fact, um, to that uh, fixed point. So um, let's look at this in, as an example. Let's look at the situation, the, the example we looked at, and let's look at the, uh, the various iterations. So let's do that quickly now. Remember, this is the example we we have done earlier, this example, and we have uh, three iterations that we looked at. This is one of them, xi plus 1 equals um, xi squared minus 1. This was one of them, and uh, the second one we looked at was xi plus 1 equals 1 1 plus 1 over xi, and the third one we looked at was, was 1 over xi minus 1. So in all of these, here, uh, in this one, we gx is x squared minus 1. Here, gx is 1 plus 1 over x, and here, gx is... 1 over x minus 1. So let's calculate for the first one, g dash of x turns out to be 2x. Now you think about that. It is the size of this, which is the size of this, is that less than 1 for x between any, um, for instance, if we fix ourselves to 1, 2 for the sake of argument. Now, is that going to be less than 1? No, it's not. So the point is that since it's not going to be less than 1, Therefore, uh, since it's not less than 1 on 1, 2, therefore, um, this will not converge. And if you remember, it actually diverges. So 
diverges. So this diverges. Now, if you look at the second one, let's look at this one here. The derivative of this, uh, the derivative of g here is in fact minus one over x squared. Now remember, we're looking at one to two. Now if you look at that, this, the absolute value of this, for, for this range of values, one to two, where one is not included, clearly this is less than one. And if you recall, this actually does converge. So we are guaranteed convergence in this case. The, the third one, the third and final one, this one here, g dash in this case turns out to be minus one over x minus one squared. Okay, so anyway, let's look at this example. So here, g dash is, g dash is minus one over one mi x minus one squared. Again, since one is not included, uh, we're, we're safe here. And if we take the absolute value of this, clearly that is also less than one in this uh, portion, in this region. So that guarantees, again, since it's less than one, it guarantees convergence. Means there is, an, there is a unique, the, the theorem says there is a unique fixed point in this region that you're searching. There is a unique fixed point. And actually, as you can see, that is if the derivative is less than one, there is a unique, unique fixed point. And clearly here there is, and here there is, and here it, there isn't. So therefore diverges, this converges to the solution for us, and this iteration, iterative process will also, this iteration will also converge. So that basically covers uh, the fixed point theorem and, uh, and gives us a criteria for how we can test in advance if an iteration is going to converge or diverge. Thank you.